Welcome to Love Canal. So as many people know already, Love Canal started as a canal that was to connect the Niagara River with another body of water several years ago. And in the 40s, Henry Love, I believe his name was, ran out of money to build the canal. So this entire place right here was just a big hole. It's about a mile long, as you can see way down the street here. Um, but Henry Love wanted to build a canal, that was his dream, and when he ran out of money he sold the land to Hooker Chemical Company, who decided to use it as a chemical dumping site, where tons of different chemicals were buried in the giant hole in the ground that was to be the canal including one of the most cancer-causing carcinogens called dioxin, which was found in the soil and the air around this place. After Hooker was done dumping and they covered it all over with dirt, they sold this land to a development company for one dollar the development company, I believe, was aware of what had happened here, but they went on developing the area anyway, built houses everywhere, and sold them at a low cost to young families, and they were misguided into buying a house that was on top of a cancer-causing site full of different chemicals. So after some time went by, they started noticing different things. Kids were picking up this goo on the ground. Parents were finding foul smelling odors in their basements and the ground was really uh, wavy, which it still kind of is today. And they eventually found out about what Hooker did here. And a woman named Lois Gibbs started a huge movement of environmentalism to try and get the families out of here and try to get the government to take responsibility for everything that happened here and to move the families out of their homes within a certain radius of this place. It took several years for it to get done, but eventually the governor, government stepped in. Funny that it was an election year. The governor eventually stepped in of New York at the time and he moved the first ring, there were I believe three rings of families that they decided on. And most of them live right along this road right here. A lot of houses here that all got torn down. And he first announced that all women, well pregnant women and children and their families would be moved out and the government would buy their houses. Then, people were still getting sick, kids were being born with birth defects, and lots of other nasty stuff was happening here. And eventually, the government stepped in again and moved the rest of the families out. Some still decided to stay here. There are still some houses within a couple of blocks of this place that are way down this road. And this is 100th Street right here that we're walking along. Technically we're not supposed to be here as it says, no trespassing, but just be quiet, nobody needs to know. So, this is 100th Street. As you can see, hasn't been used in several years. It's overgrown with grass. 
And you can still see parts of the sidewalk over there. But we started way down there. And now we're about a quarter of the way down 100th Street. And 99th Street, which was famous for, uh, I believe, having a school on it somewhere, was mostly dug up or overgrown. There's a fence down there that leads from 99th Street into Love Canal. But uh, I haven't seen any street within Love Canal, so I'm guessing that they either covered it over or dug it up when they uh, cleaned it up several years ago or tried to clean it up, which never really worked. It was actually just a report about three weeks ago that was released by some chemical company saying that Love Canal was no longer an issue and that there was no longer any threat to the surrounding area because it wasn't oozing chemicals anymore. But the residents came out and did their own study and they found that there are still some carcinogens around and still some oozing going on so this is definitely not the safest place to be for an extended period of time you have to be here for a while for it to have an effect on you but still had an effect on several families back in the 70s and like I said they eventually got moved out and now this place is basically a ghost town as you can see within the exclusion zone here behind the fence, there are very few trees. Grass is pretty green on the outside, but as you get further in, it starts to fade and uh, get brown and really uneven. So, all these trees are mostly dead. Some of them still have some life to them. It is still early spring and uh, so they're not going to be blooming yet some of them should be but most of them aren't some pine trees they're hardier so they can withstand some of this stuff but as you can see in there nothing growing no animals none whatsoever so far we've been here for about an hour and we've only seen a couple of birds there's a bird on the tree down there probably has no idea what's going on but we've seen a couple of birds a snail somehow and a couple of chipmunks going into some of the sewers that are around here but if you can just imagine this entire area at one point was full of life and had all kinds of houses homes buildings businesses schools and all of it has been gone for several years now And that is basically the story of Love Canal. Only about a 15 to 20 minute drive from Niagara Falls. My girlfriend and I are on vacation here. And we decided to stop by Love Canal since I studied it in school during my uh, environmental studies undergrad. Along with a myriad of other environmental issues that have happened over the years. And hard to believe this, this street has not seen cars in a very long time. Except for the people that work here. Now way over there, which my camera is going to fuzz out because of the um, fence. If I can get closer, maybe you can see. But see if I can. If we get way over there, you see that American flag there that's kind of still. That is a, uh, at least I think it may be that or maybe the school. I'm not 100% sure about that. but um, So there is a Love Canal treatment uh, facility that still has operators to this day. I guess still monitoring the area 
making sure it doesn't become extremely harmful again. But even where I'm standing right now, I can feel the ground buckling beneath my feet. So you can tell that this land is not the same as it would be in other healthy places. I can only imagine what it's like inside. Probably looks like water underneath there. Probably be like waves. But you can definitely feel the difference. It did just rain a few days ago, but most of that has dried up by now. And the ground is still swelling and buckling under my feet. So some pretty crazy stuff happened here. And it's unbelievable that there's nothing around. All you can hear is distant birds and cars going up and down the main drags north and south of here. But I hope you enjoy the video. And that is basically Love Canal. But thanks for watching. And have a good one. So now we're getting ready to walk between 100th and 99th streets. Right now we're on 100th. And there's a little pathway over here. And this grass definitely sags beneath your feet. Pretty crazy. And there were likely houses all in this land here. Now we're coming up on the famous 99th Street that Lois Gibbs mentions in her book. And There's a lot of talk about this street and all the things that happened here. And here, here's the perfect example in here of the ground swelling and sagging. You can see the big difference in elevation in there. And there's a little piece of sidewalk. All this has become grass covered over the years all the telephone poles that were on 99th Street. This one's been cut off so it doesn't go into the exclusion zone here. But here we are on 99th now. Welcome back to our car and then we're gonna do a quick drive around of all of Love Canal and show you guys what's around here. And pretty funny, but the uh, gate was left unlocked for some reason. And I am not an urban explorer or whatever they call them. So I am not going to go in there, nor do I dare to right now. There are some people over at that uh, treatment facility. So it'd be nice to not get caught while on vacation. So now walking along 99th. Amazingly, this street is not blocked off. I would imagine it's because of that fence down there, but most of the streets, as you'll see in the next part of the video, are blocked by massive cement cones almost. Uh, at least that's what they look like. They're just massive cement round blocks that are blocking most of the streets around here so that you can't get in with a car unless you're a person that takes care of this land.
Okay, so now that we're almost back to the car, I'm going to do a quick drive around all the way around Love Canal once, show you how much different it is now than it was several years ago. There are still a few houses around, still a few people living here, but most of the people either moved, got their houses bought and demolished. But we'll see what we can see. Now we're doing a quick drive around of Love Canal here. And you'll see these big cement blocks coming up here on the right side. And they're blocking 100th Street there, so no cars can get in or out of there unless you decide to go off-roading, which I'm not about to do. We're going to go down 101st Street here. And here is the first civilization you're going to see around Love Canal. Like I said, a few people decided to stay. So, very few, maybe four or five families, if that. There's one house, and now it's going to be about three quarters of a mile before we get to another one. Alright, and that's where we were walking over there, along the fence. are not very good around here but they look like they haven't been resurfaced in probably 20 or more years and I have not seen another car on any of these streets around here with the exception of the uh, ones that travel east to west major highways Nobody seems to come back here at all. Now we're starting to come up on some trailers and houses a little further up here. could go down there if we wanted to but as you see way down that street there there are more cement blocks can't get down there all this is broken up to the right and I have a couple more houses down here people that decided to stay there's still people living here still cars in the driveways. One there. And now there's basically a junkyard and I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Love Canal or not. Of course all this here, maybe 99th Street that was broken up when they did the digging, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that so don't quote me on that. Very rocky road here and mounds and mounds of concrete and asphalt and <coughs> dirt. Just have to wait for a couple cars to go by. over there and now there's 100th Street where we were now we're on the south end of Love Canal you look in there there's absolutely nothing on this end uh, no trees no wildlife nothing very uneven ground still this right here would be 99th Street but as you see it's been blocked off and mostly torn up Make another turn here and we'll be right along the fence here. This is one of the few roads around that has not been blocked off. 
And if you're an environmentalist and you are an environmental justice person, to our left over here, there is a senior citizen's home. I couldn't believe it when we first got here. It's called Vincent Morello Senior Housing. And they are literally right next door to a toxic waste dump. But back over to Love Canal now. Coming up we have the Love Canal Treatment Facility. <coughs> Stop sign here. There used to be a road on the left here. No longer there. Well, still there, but it's completely blocked off. No traffic is allowed in there. And that's the treatment facility right there. There were a couple of cars in there earlier. Not sure if they're still there or not. And this here was either a attempt at a cover-up for Superfund or it might just be a parking lot, but it's sagging a lot, as you might be able to see on the video. So it was probably an attempt at a cleanup. And there's just the big warehouse here. A couple of tractors, very old tractors that look like they haven't been moved in several years. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get back close to the canal again, but we'll keep going just in case. Uh, still, now we're probably an eighth mile removed from Love Canal whenever we get around this bend up here. And there still is no wildlife and very minimal trees and things. You can see in there there's still some civilization, some houses. Now we're on 95th Street, getting ready to turn onto Colvin. And we'll see if we can get, I think this is the north side of Love Canal now. <coughs> and still houses over here. side of the canal, just about where we were earlier. And here's 99th Street, where we just pulled off of to begin the video. And 100th, I forgot, is blocked off. back to 101st. So that's going to do it for our video. We'll have to see all the surrounding parts of Love Canal, inside the canal, and see how much it's changed over the years. But thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed.